you're never gonna believe where we got this car. I'll show you. This car right here was 30 feet in the air and we got her. Whoa, whoa. All right, before I bore you to death, let's check out the video. Just checking this old car out really brings us all back in time. We just couldn't help to wonder, besides sitting up on this old sign for 50 years, where has this old girl been and what has she seen? So our project today is getting this nifty 50 cut down off the sign frame that it's sitting on so we can get it ready for a forklift to come in and pick it up and put it on our trailer. What do you think, Haley? We got to cut some of that, those bolts yeah. loose. There's a hole in the bottom right there. See the bolt right there going through the lower control arm. Same way right there is a bolt on that side. See we got cables wrapped around it. Must have been code for this big sign. Big monster snap on. So yeah, we open that up and uh, get a new blade on this sawzall. Oh no, it's none of those sizes. I think we got most of the bees' nests already sprayed out of it. Haley, grab a socket. Which one? 15. Okay. The 15er? Uh, try a 14, see if it fits better. You want a long 15? Yeah, give me a long one, it'll probably work better. Oh yeah, now I need the impact gun. Thanks, Haley, let's see if she works. So this cable goes around the frame rail and then around the frame of that sign down there. So it was like a safety thing or something. Man, this thing's torquey. Careful holding that cable. It's got, if you slide your hand on it, you'll get a metal splinter and those don't feel too good. Now we just got cable in the rear. And then these bolts. Let's go to the back end and get the uh I'll step on that, Haley. Oh man, I gotta get under the car. I'm going under. Dirty job. Fun job. Though. Oh, think about whacking me in the face. I tell you, cutting a steel cable isn't as easy as it sounds. Oh, that one went easy. Oh, man. Poked these down with uh, some rust pen and stuff a while ago, but we'll see. Yeah, take glasses on, camera girl. See how that goes. Guess I can put my safety glasses on. This thing's loose. Now all we gotta do is jack it up, put some blocks underneath it so we can get the forklift up underneath there. I tell you, these girls are all work and no play. Sure is nice having them around. Well, maybe a little play. You have to move those things out of there. Kids, get 
over here and grab us one. Thailand, where are you at? What are you doing up there? I'm sure I got the proper tools for the job, but you know. It's gonna be a little sketchy. I like sketchy. Because if you're not doing anything sketchy, you're not getting much done. Just like that, the jack quits working. Time for a new one. Oh, I wish we'd have brought that scissor, Jack. All right, so the jack's not working, so we gotta go to my shop, which is just in the other parking lot. Grab another jack, and throw this one in the dump, because I'm so sick of it. The girls are gonna hang on the tailgate back there. there maybe we gotta make sure we're not gonna break the whole car in half because the frame pretty rusty but pay attention make sure we're not breaking any doors yet there that's where the forklifts can come in right there so we're trying to get so this frame sitting right on that frame so we're trying to jack it up far enough put a block of wood on four corners so the forklift can come in underneath the main center section of the frame which seems to be solid enough to hopefully lift a car without it breaking in half because that frame is pretty rotted so but it's jacking up on the front of the frame and it hasn't broke yet so I'm thinking we're gonna be okay now the back of the frame is another story that's rotted right out There'll be plenty of room as long as it don't slide off. Yeah, I'll put that there for the time being also. All right, let's set her down and see what it does. Nice. Just that one board on that other side may be enough for the forks to lift this sucker right here. Oh man. Frame is rotted out right there, even. Wow. That's terrible. So, I guess I'm going to jack up this side a little bit. Put a block of wood right here. Where I did that other one. <laughs> when you're hanging out with a bunch of girls, you're going to hear a bunch of screaming girls all the time. All righty. You up high enough over there? Oh, maybe. I'm not sure how big his forks are, but this. as long as the frame is up high enough, I'll go up a little higher. I think I better stop right there. So I killed a bunch of bees in here uh, a few days ago. They're still up in there. 
They're hiding. You see them way back in there. I just want to make sure I have it jacked up enough for the forklift guy so he's not here waiting forever for me to get this up high enough for his forklift to get to it. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, can you let the jack down slowly? Oh, I think that's gonna work. Good enough, I guess, until we get the forklift guy here. This is why it's the nifty 50s. Do the sign. See that? Nifty 50s. So this sign was on a huge pole way up in the air. I think there's a picture on Google of it. It was in Manistique off Highway 2, I believe, for a lot of years. And I guess my boss bought it or something. He found out that I was going to look at a 55 Chevy uh, Bel Air down in lower Michigan. And he says, well, I wish I'd have known that. You could have just, I'd have just gave you this one. I'm like, what? So I decided not to get the 55 and I decided to take this one. This one's just sitting here and he didn't want it, so he gave it to me. Pays to have a good boss. Ow. I need you to push as I pull, because I couldn't get it last time. Watch your step, you might fall through the floor. Thank God. We have to wait until we get her down and prop up. I'm hoping I don't even know yet if there's a VIN tag. There should be a VIN tag somewhere on the uh, hinge pillar in here. Hopefully there's a VIN tag. I can't tell because I can't get the door open still. But I'm assuming there's a lot of pressure on it because the frame's junk and the way it's sitting up here. So it's probably a good thing we don't open it because the car might fold in half. Who knows? Well, I guess until we get back here with the forklift, it's going to sit here. Definitely gonna get haunt the virus in here. Look at all these rat turds. Kick it! <laughs> oh. Woo. Well, we got a VIN tag. We sure do, right oh. there. So these VIN tags normally fall off. They do not make it very long because they're stainless steel with a little tack weld instead of a rivet onto the steel of the windshield post. This one has survived. Oh, that's awesome. I'm making new friends with the rats. Yes. I'm having fun with them. Man, that's pretty nasty in there. It's awesome. I tried getting this door open. I don't know how many times. Man. It works. You had to get the Kung Fu hustle. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that was awful nice of Joe to help me get the door open. 
Seeing that VIN tag was nice. We're gonna have to do something real special to this old girl. I think she deserves it. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a fun time with the kids. We had a great time getting down there. They had more of a blast, I guess. We're just glad the car didn't break in half trying to get it down and we got her home safely. It's not in the garage yet because we have a huge, huge amount of insulation and stuff. We're getting the garage ready for the winter because we're gonna be doing a ton of projects in there. And it gets negative 30, negative 40 out here. I got a wood stove in there, but we have to insulate our steel building. Fun stuff. Thanks for watching. Great American Northern Garage.